If you have a low-end PC with specs that are lower than the recommended, then you must optimize these four things. That's your Nvidia settings, Profile Inspector settings, Fortnite settings, and Config settings, which will result in a huge FPS boost. So if a video does help out, please drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Okay, first up, we're going to optimize our Nvidia settings via going on the desktop and right-clicking, then choosing the Nvidia Control Panel. Inside, under Adjust Image Settings with Preview, you want to click the middle one that's use advanced 3d image settings then click take me there then inside here you basically want to follow my lead and turn off all the heavy hitting settings that will take up a lot of fps so image scaling you want that off ambient occlusion off anisotropic filtering i keep on application controlled all these anti-aliasing settings i have off or application controlled that basically lets your computer decide with your specs uh, all these you want off cuda gpus you want on all dslr factors off a uh, low latency mode this is a real important one. I highly recommend you have this turned off. Only use on or ultra if you have a medium to high end PC. And even then, I'll probably just use on. But if you've got a low end PC, turn this off. Going down from that, you want all these settings like so. Under power management, you want this on preferred maximum performance to get the most performance possible. Just below that, you've got preferred refresh rate. Make sure this is on the highest available. Going down, we've got really important settings here. These are your texture filtering. You want them off. Allow high performance. That's a real important one under quality when you want trilinear optimization turned on. Underneath that, you've got threaded optimization, which is really beneficial if you've got a CPU with multiple cores. The best one for this though is auto, and it'll basically let the setting itself decide if your computer should have it on or off. It'll look at your CPU and decide, so keep that on auto. And then for the last few settings, we've got triple buffer and off, vertical sync, use the 3D application setting, and then these two don't really matter. And then these two I just keep on the default. Oh, one last thing in the Nvidia settings is under change resolution you can have a custom stretched resolution. I'll leave this tutorial on screen that can also boost your FPS a ton. I myself really like the resolution 1680 by 1080. One final thing too under the adjust desktop size and position I like to use the full screen setting here with GPU scaling selected. Moving on from that we're going to get the Nvidia profile inspector to further boost our FPS. To get it simply google Nvidia profile inspector. Make sure to click the first one that's the github link you then want to scroll down to you see the zip file right here under the latest version once you've downloaded and extracted it you want to open it up you then should see the axe give that an open then once inside you'll see a ton of customizable settings now if you go to the top here under profiles you want to click this and select the specific game which is obviously in this case Fortnite. If you just type it in, it should be selectable. You'll know if it's worked properly if there's a green bar right here. That is all good to go. After that, you want to scroll down to where you see the free and it's titled anti-aliasing. Now, underneath the transparency super sampling, by default, it's off slash multi-sampling. We want to click the drop-down box. We want to select the option, which is 0x, then loads of zeros, then 8, AA mode, replay mode, all. Select that one right there. After that, you want to scroll down to where it says 4, texture filtering. And for the first setting right here, we want to find the driver controlled LOD bias. You want to change that from being on to being off. Then underneath that, you've got the DX and the OGL. You want to customize both of these. The first one, I like to use either plus 3000 for both of them, like so. That'll give you a good FPS boost. Or you can take it even a step further and change it to 5000 on both of them if you want even more of an FPS boost. But bear in mind, your graphics will look way worse. I've found, though, a good balance to be 3000 on both of them, so I myself like that. But the final thing you want to do in here is under texture filter and quality, you want to make sure this is set to high performance. If you want better quality and less FPS, you can put it on quality or high quality, but I think high performance is the best one for this. And after you've configured those settings right there, you want to scroll up to the top and click apply changes on the right hand side. What this will do is it'll turn your game from looking pretty normal to having ultra low graphics, which as you can imagine will give you a pretty significant FPS boost. However, if you do want to revert it back, just click at the top bar here under where it says restore current profile to NVIDIA default it's literally one button right there moving on from that we're going to optimize our in-game settings now under display under the video settings you want to change the rendering mode from DirectX 11 or 12 to using the performance lower graphical fidelity setting this will boost your FPS a ton furthermore from that you can change the graphic settings but these don't really affect FPS in any way it's just personal preference scrolling down even further you want all these settings to be off or on the lowest obviously I'm on a uh, DirectX 11 at the minute so all these settings will disappear or most 
most of them, but for all of them, you want to put them on the lowest one possible. We want the most FPS, so just put them all on low if you can. Furthermore as well, I wouldn't actually recommend using NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Mode if you've got a low-end PC. I think it's best to keep this off. Next from that though, you want to go under Game Settings, and if you scroll down to the bottom under Replays, these are hidden settings that can actually boost your FPS slightly. What you want to do is turn all of them off. And you can see in game, it even states that these can reduce your performance and take up more hard drive space if you have them enabled. Oh, another thing as well, under audio, uh, the same applies to sound quality. High sounds way better, to be honest, but it actually may decrease your performance, as you see right there. So I like to go ahead and turn that to low. Moving on from that, we're going to finally configure our config settings for Fortnite. To do this, just open the run box via pressing the Windows key plus Plus R, then inside here type in percentage sign local app data and then percentage sign again like so. Inside here find Fortnite game, then click on save, then click on config, then Windows client, then game user settings. You want to right click on this and click edit. Inside here we're going to basically go through this really slowly and customize any settings that could give us an FPS boost. Now scrolling down you just want to make sure all settings where they have one, like these illumination quality settings, or turn to zero. This is super important. We don't want any reflection, like illumination, or any sort of like graphical um, fidelity settings turned on. We want our game to be like the worst looking as possible so we get more FPS. So make sure all those are on low. Scrolling down even further, I'm not seeing any at the minute. You need to scroll past all this junk right here. This is in everyone's config. Just leave it alone and scroll by. And if we go down even further, we should get to some other good settings that we can customize very, very soon. Uh, one that's really important you can mess with is the resolution of a game. Like I mentioned before, I made a video all about it, but if you lower your resolution, you can further get more FPS. So that's a really cool thing to do in there. But scrolling down from that, we've got the scalability groups. Yep, this is what I was looking for. Inside here, you want the view distance to be on zero. That's the lowest one possible. Shallow quality to be on zero, lowest one possible. Same with this setting, this setting, this setting, and then all the quality settings down here as well. Make sure they are all on zero, aka the lowest setting. Then after you've done that, you can go ahead, click on save. And that right there has been four different steps that you can take to boost FPS in Fortnite on your low-end PC. If the video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it, drop a sub on the channel, and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton. Catch us in the next one, and feel free to check out these other two videos on screen right now.